Alter, 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 All four dead for Stray Ripping. We're switching on over to Triggers Down. Hysteria just picked up the green gun. And actually, we're going to check out Pistola. He's sniping from the hill right now. Come back in here. Triggers down. They were trailing for a little bit there from Stray Ripping, but now we see as they have complete map control, they have pistol position top rockets here. They got the sniper in the hands of Hines and close burp, and they're going to be trying to make sure that Stray Ripping doesn't get this new overshield here as the rest of the TD squad is going to be set up top. You see Pistola going down, and it's going to be huge here for Stray Ripping. They're going to have rockets. This means that even if Triggers down does get the new overshield, they're going to be able to shut him down. And it's going to be Heinz versus Elmite Warrior, looks like here. Heinz, he was sitting on close tree. Elmite deciding to rather charge into the lobby as he takes down Hysteria with that last rocket. And it looks like Snipedown is going to get that overshield here for Straight Rift. And things are looking good on Straight side of things, but Snipedown's got to be careful because they got Pistol sitting up in Sword, and he's going to be spawning the rest of the team there. But for some reason, they got the back bolt spawn, which is the best spawn they could have asked for because that makes open perp, open hill so easy to get to. And I actually saw there, Scott, it looked like Heinz and SK spawned in the basement bottom gold. They just immediately hit the back button on their controller and went up the gold lift. They came behind the setup that Straight Ripping was expecting from Sword there. So they came in with a flank, and that keeps Straight Ripping out of the hill. And now they, they're able to hold on to their lead here. This one coming down to the wire, 200 to 196. Remember, the first team to reach 250 will walk away as the champions of Game 3. And Chris and Scott, if uh, Straight Ripper can hold on here, they can have a great chance of evening in series with the next game being Pitt, CTF, and Straight Ripper has only lost this game type once this year. Wow, so this is really do or die time. If they can win this one, they will definitely have the momentum going into their best game type. We're watching as legit firing down on the Triggers Down members who are spawning in the basement. He's going to call that out, and Elmite Warrior is going to sit there on close side, and legit is going to pinch from behind. But all four members coming up to close purple. Very interesting strategy here from Straight Rippin'. But it looks like Straight Rippin' is able to handle it. T-Squared still sitting on that hill, picking up huge hill time. And Snipe Down is on the opposite side of the map, sitting there close street. And Straight Rippin' just really went clutch in that moment, and it was all by Legit and Elmite Warrior. The deciding factor for this last hill, or whoever takes this game, is this overshield that's coming up at, I believe, 46. 46. And there's a double kill from Snipe down. He's going for the triple. It's just a second late, but that means that at least three members of TD are down, and he's got the sniper rifle to protect that hill with. And last rockets are up right now as well. 
So straight Rippin's in a perfect position right now. No one, the overshield's not in play. Snipe down has Sniper on open street. Now they just need to get Rockets and they have complete control and they can win this game very easily. All they have to do right now is not choke. T squared has overshield Rocket. You have Sniper in the hands of Snipe down and you have Legit sitting in the hill. Straight Rippin is staying alive in the winner's bracket, people. They are going to win game three. And they're so motivated. They stood up once all four were dead right there for triggers down. They stood up. They got really, really hyped. They got the crowd into it. I was worried there for Stray Rippin for a second, but they pulled it out. Snipe down, dropping 27. El Might Warrior putting up 26. Both of those players going positive, and they really locked it down in the final moments of the match, despite Hines putting up 31 kills, Scott. So here we go, guys. Stray Rippin staying alive in this one. We're going to move on to game four. As Farouk mentioned, it's going to be capture the flag on the pit. This is Straight Rippin's best game type, and we'll see if they can pull out another win in the 2009 season on this map. But well, this is not their just best game type this year. I mean, in the last two years, they're 22 and four. Only four losses in two years on this game type, whereas uh, Trigger's down 25 and nine. Not, not as hot, but still pretty good. So here we go, you know this game type, it's one of my favorites to watch. Capture the flag on the pit, the first team to capture three times will win. There's the overshield down low, that comes up every two minutes. And of course, the Rockets in the middle, and each team gets a sniper to work with. We're jumping on board here with I Got Your Pistol to open this one up. He's going on their training. Meanwhile, Hysteria's got the sniper rifle, and SK, he just won the battle for the Rockets in green box with the help of Hines. But they got to look out here, especially Pistola, as legit is coming up the training. He's coming over. He's actually going to back up, but he has the overshield, and he's going to look to try and shut down the power weapons here that are in the hands of TD. And what Pistola's doing right there is he's baiting himself so that Hysteria can get easy kills, but vice versa, because they know Hysteria is going to be top turret. So by Pistola's in there, he can get an easy back whack. And there's Pistola heating up, and it's all because Hysteria connected with the shot on Snipe Down. So now they have both snipers, they have the Rockets. This is just like that Narrows Team Slayer game. But remember, it's all about the objective. Kills matter, but it's more about map positioning and taking advantage of your opportunities. And Straight Ripping is very good at that on this map. Scott, in your playing history, being down 2-0, coming back, winning a clutch game to make the series, you know, pretty much going your way now. How do you come into, what's the mentality like when you know your next game type is your strongest and you're coming in looking to tie up the series? You say, you know what, guys, we're still in this and we're going to do it. There's no doubt about it. We have our best game type. Let's see if Legit can make things happen here. He's got the sniper rifle. Working against a player here in Sword. It looks like it's SK. And we're going to listen in here with, with Straight Ribbon. I want to hear what their communication is like. Why are they so successful on this game type? Together, together. Go together. Brian, you, okay, yeah, I'm, 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 I'